In this video, we'll be looking at a very cool way to solve quadratics. Let's start by solving the quadratic equation x squared minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. Normally, we would solve this by using the quadratic formula, where x is equal to negative b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And then this yields us two answers if we were to solve this equation. 3 plus root 5 over 2 and 3 minus root 5 over 2. However, I'll be introducing a super cool way of solving this without having to know the quadratic formula or even completing the square. And this strategy is not often taught in schools and textbooks. So let's start with x squared minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. And then let's divide both sides by x to get x minus 3 plus 1 over x is equal to 0. Now, we have that x is equal to 3 minus 1 over x. Now, it feels like we're stuck here. What do we do now? But we can also express this as 3 minus 1 over 3 minus 1 over x. By plugging in, x is equal to 3 minus 1 over x down here. And then we can continue this process infinitely so that we get a continued fraction. And then this is actually our first root, where it is exactly the same as 3 plus root 5 over 2. What would the second root be? Oh, how, how can we get 3 minus root 5 over 2 of you by using this method? Well, what we essentially did here, if we were to understand it in a different way, was we did this. We moved the negative, we moved the 1 over, we factored this part, and then we moved the x over. So we had that x minus 3 is equal to negative 1 over x or x is equal to 3 minus 1 over x. However, what if during this step, we instead chose to move the x minus 3 over? Then we would get x is equal to negative 1 over x minus 3. And then we could perform the exact same thing here, where we would substitute x again for negative 1 over x minus 3, And then, again, we can choose to do this infinitely. Right. And this would be our second root, which is 3 minus root 5 over 2. 